All right, everyone. Chef Nanny Bubby in the house. Valentine's Day is next Friday, and today she's showing us some delicious desserts that don't have any added sugar in them. But first, I have to say, yesterday we celebrated our third anniversary yes. for the show. But today is Chef Nanny Bubby's one year anniversary being on their show. So Yay. thank you. One year yeah, being with no, us. I can't believe it. And you've taught us so much, so many tips, how to cook with our children, which I do now. It actually helps him eat his food I'm instead so of throwing glad. it everywhere. So we're so happy to have thank you. you. It's a dream come true for me, so thank you so much. We love it. But this is really Yes. So I love I, what we're doing today. I broke up with sugar on January one of twenty twenty. So this was a challenge for me to try to figure out exactly what to do for Valentine's Day. And and um, so I, I'm starting with chocolate that is not unsweetened. So let's okay. show just a little bit about what we're doing. Okay. This is the Lily's chocolate, which I absolutely love, um, which comes off of our um, uh, syllabus is Valentine's Day is sweeter without sugar. Yes. So starting with the dark chocolate into the bowl. Okay. Um, vanilla. A half a oh. stick of butter because butter will help this liquefy a little bit more. Okay. And from my favorite Ina Garden, the Barefoot Contessa, you put in one tablespoon of coffee because that just brings out the chocolate flavor so much. So you don't need right. The extra and in sugar. normal okay. cases, you would use the the freeze dried coffee uh, granules or the instant coffee. But I need this to liquefy just a little bit more, so I'm using actually a tablespoon of coffee. So okay. see how that liquefied? Yes. And I like what that. we did is we took this hypodermic needle so to speak, uh -huh. sucked out the chocolate, which we did just a couple of minutes ago because we had to have it ready for TV. And if you can just take a look at these, I'm just going to pull these up just a minute. Do you see how we've written on these? Hug. XO, XO, XO heart. a heart. Just, I they're like so that. cute. And so I'm going to let you do that. I'm going okay. to let you <laughs> literally do maybe a heart. Okay. On these beautiful long stem strawberries. And so, what I want to tell you about this, it's one week before Valentine's Day. Go to any store that you shop on, as shop at, and ask your produce manager to contact Melissa Foods, and they will deliver long stem strawberries to you. We're so just you talking can about do, we love delivery. There you go. You it's do. A, I filled in the heart. Is that too much chocolate? There you go. No. Look okay. at that. Beautiful job. So beautiful smart. job. Okay, now okay. what else do you have? Because this is beautiful. So let's show it finish. Usually we don't show finish till the I end. I don't know how you. But did let's this. take a look at this. Yes, you are. You're going to see just exactly now. So these are called apple roses. And oh, can I tip them just it's a little? So pretty. There, tip them. I was tipping the wrong way. There, there you go. There we go. They're so beautiful. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We start with Pepperidge Farm puff pastry. Okay. Now you could make your own puff pastry, but why would you want to? I mean, this is so easy. Yes. Now, I've uh, I have rolled it out with a rolling pin. It starts about this size, okay. but you can see that I I rolled it out to about maybe an inch and a half more than it was. And so what I've done is this is um, three inches cut. I use a pizza cutter whoops, okay. to cut it. Okay. And this is what we're going to do. I'll let you do this. We'll do it together because it'll go faster. I'll start. I, I pre-cut these. These are apples that were sliced very thin and lay them on top. Just there you go. To the side? Okay, yeah. Side. Really um, lay them on top. Half. Yep. Got it. Um, and they were put in the microwave about a minute and a half okay. to soften them so that way they can um, easily any apple Roll. type? Honey crisp? Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, I love honey crisp. Thank you for asking. Okay. And these are honey crisp. We're going to put just a little bit of cinnamon on it. Okay. And if you, you really don't need sugar if you just use a little bit of cinnamon. Okay. Um, and since I'm not using any sugar, I just put a little bit. If you like a lot of cinnamon, you have to put sugar, which I did not. Okay. So you let the sugar from the apples. Then what you're going to do is I pre cut these um, simple things. Of um, like granola, okay, or the um, healthy crisp. Wow! Well, there you That's go. Okay. That's my TV. Give yeah. a minute. We gotta. Yeah. I so, want to see how this is done. There we go. Separate those uh, raisins for me. No problem. Put them on there. Okay. Okay. And what we're gonna do? There we go. We're gonna fold this. Okay. Like this, and we're gonna roll it up. Like this. Okay. See that? Yes. And we're gonna take a little bit of egg wash right here. This is egg wash. Which is just an egg. Some people like to put a tablespoon of water in it. I don't because okay. I think it sticks better. And you have these what? darling little roses. And then what do you bake it? You bake it at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. 
So smart. 15 to 20 minutes. Keep an eye on the apples. I burned them twice. So oh. even I burned them twice. <laughs> and so if smart. all else fails, you can always do a cheese dish. If you're French, you always do cheese for that dessert. That always works. So you can, cheese and can fruit you always. See the cheese over here. There Thank we go. you there so go. much. That's so smart. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take a picture and share it with you. Guys, Check out Chef Nanny Bubby on Facebook and Instagram. And thanks to Chapman Automotive for sponsoring this segment. There's her Facebook and there's her Instagram handle right there. And thank you, Chapman. Thank you.